All right, let's try this one more time, all right? Apologize, everybody. Uh, $4,000 Alienware computer with mass with the mega RAM completely loaded into it. Uh, it. Cannot handle running over 30 charts, just FYI. So I have about 30 charts up and running on this thing. I now know I have to limit it to about 10 charts. Uh, unbelievable. So much for that. All right, Burb. Sorry, brother. I cut you off, man. No problem. L let's no go. Problem, mate. Let's go in. We're going to take a couple look. We're just going to take a quick look at the, uh, we're going to run through a, uh, we're actually going to run through a clean chart. Let's load another chart up. I want to just load a clean chart. Let me find it. Where is it at? All right. And here we go. All right, so I just want to load a clean chart here real quick. I want to go through this really fast and basically just go through your candle and assessment on dailies, okay? So let's start with the daily candle. The close of yesterday's was a TD1. Uh, to me, it looked like a spinning top, which is uh, neutralist, but I look at this as a bearish candle. Uh, usually spinning tops for me tell me that there is it will be a reversal or and there is a reversal coming. All right. What's your thought on the daily, buddy? Yeah, actually, you know, I think, uh, yeah, it, it kind of connects with, with what, I've, what, what I've said. And uh, this is kind of giving me a bit more feeling that we are to more to, to you know, to, to retest this, uh, this support at 7.8. And um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the zone that I'll be looking at. I mean, this is, you know, the, the place to probably to, to, to do some scalps on, on opening longs, for example. I would definitely not open a short, like a clear short at this moment still, but uh, still play, you know, play out with, with some long scalping here. Um, yeah, but once, uh, once you know, once we any anyhow have broken um, this, this in case can be, or, or just penetrated the, the Kumo as well. Uh, we uh, we should probably uh, start to focusing focusing more, you know, on, on opening in a shorts, uh, than and play a bit more short short uh, scalping there. But um, yeah, the level I'm 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 checking the level I'm looking at is definitely seventy eight hundred, and uh, once once this feeble line at seven uh, at eight at eight point oh fifty. Uh, gets broken clearly with a nice, uh, with a decent, you know, this uh, this uh, sell sell volume spike. I would probably like have it more confirmation with uh, with this uh, retest at seven seven point eight. So All if right. you ask me, it's uh, like this. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there. Yep. So no there, pro. So, yeah. So there's the risk. So if you if you trace our resistance back, you can clearly see the resistance zone. We did get a body body right there. This goes back a lot longer right here. Look, take a look at that. So you did get body body. The other two bodies. You got a great confluence zone right there on the eight thousand and fifty line. So watch for a break of the eight thousand and fifty line. This is heavy resistance, right? Heavy support. So I'm gonna label this as support. Okay, so watch for a break of this. A break of this, you would be looking to get down here. You're going to start to have to go down a retest. You know what? I'm still not, you know, it's hard not to get pretty deep down here. Like right there. There it is, 78.90. So you have a lot, like right in this range right here. Is your really your next level support if this were to break right so let's clone this and this would be your next support level right there uh that we would want to see tested right there so let's run this there you go and this this support zone you're going to have a support zone right here it's going to be right there and then the following one is going to be right here the following heavy your your really your heavy support zone is gonna be right there. All right, clone that. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Now I want to take this out to the two day. I don't know if you ever use the two day charts. So let's take a look at our two day chart. What are your thoughts on that, buddy? Actually, you know, I'm, I'm like checking the chart 
too too often. But well, let's have it open. Oh, give it a sec. Kinda, kinda looks like maybe. Let's see it. Here we are into the chart gigs in and um what we were saying here um to today chart for me i mean it's it's pure let me let me load this this each setup here and uh we are still yeah it's like another confirmation on today uh it says oh it says three days uh let's make it two days uh, <coughs> this kind of looked like a rising wedge originally to me kind of like made a rising wedge pattern it looked like we fell out of it mm -hmm. yeah actually um yeah it gives it gives this uh, uh, it's more looking like this this dodgy dodgy stuff with you know with thin thin body for for the candles lately uh but still yeah the lines that the lines that you're making are are the the ones that i'm looking at the same um <laughs> okay all right let's pull up the three-day chart i know you use the three-day uh i do like the three-day chart um okay Okay, so I think this is a brand new three-day candle right here. I believe this is a brand new three-day candle that just started. Uh, you came up here. This did not really give us, I mean, that's kind of a, a long line candle, kind of a spinning top candle, right? It's, 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 this is tough. Either that's a long line candle and or a spinning top candle. We did get the... Reversal now if this is a spinning top candle, you know, we did get that reversal call out of it You know, it is pretty stretched out. There you go uh, This candle right here just kills me. I swear to God blowing out these massive shooting stars is really starting to annoy me on the three day You see <laughs> this shooting star got just blown <laughs> out this perfect shooting star doji uh, You then had this one get blown out about take a look at what you got here on the three day you did just have a confirmation of a crossover on the three-day. So here it is right here. Uh, so if you're on your three-day chart, you're looking at this seven and uh, seven and 30 crossover, that is bullish right there. So that is definitely a bullish cross. Uh, I would look for a, uh, a mo I would look for that to actually, uh, yep, I would look for this to go and cross, I would look for this to be delayed, of course. And hopefully this will give us our, our last push up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, three day chart thoughts, buddy. Yeah. Um. Actually, um. <laughs> from what from what we're saying, uh, it's uh, if if I have I mean. Open in my in my Kanji account. I would say it's still. I mean, having uh, above above this um, this Kijun Kijun uh, Kijun support Kijun made support uh, ranging at this. I mean, Where's combined the with all at? the. Where's the support at? It's the support at seventy eight hundred again. I mean, it. okay. it's amazing how how accurate and how you know combined all the indicators point out the same zone support zone. But um. For me, I mean, it's having uh, it's having a more more as I say potential uh, to 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 probably to retest. I mean, to test and to retest the the Kumo cloud on the uh, free free day basis. And um, yeah, and the, the resistance. I mean, um, the resistance dictated, you know, by by the Senko span A uh, gives the same the same resistance zone at eighty five hundred. So. Uh, we are still clearly in the consolidation uh, zone. To me, uh, the the more the more we kind of zoom it out, zoom it in, you know, in terms of the time frame here. So um, all combined, all combined, actually, it shows me that we are still having the the upside potential. But probably after after regaining the power, uh, you know, with the with the bounce on the on the support there.
Got it. Okay, perfect. This, this I'm is gonna, how I see it. All right. I'm going to take us down to the 12. Uh, I'm going to take us down to the 12, 12 hours. Hour chart. There you yeah. go. All right. What are you, what are you seeing on the 12 hour? Um, you no, know, 12 hour is uh, what I'm saying is uh, again with, um, I'm seeing it perfectly touching with with the uh, lower shadow of the of this current candle, um, touching touching the the ten can, uh, ten can send line, and um, it's it kind of um, gave a small small bounce up there, but um, it has it hasn't been broken yet so. For uh, for I mean unless I mean un unless it's it's clearly blocked broken down I mean right this this uh, ten, this ten can ten can lane and ten can support I would uh, consider it you know being uh, more more than bounce uh, more bounce than than a dump at this moment so uh, but yeah but paying much attention and much focus on on the on the each each setup here twelve hours as well. So we also have a bullish cross. I see a, uh, it's a very weak bullish cross between the, uh, what is that? The 30 and the 200. So let me get over here. Dress on the 30 and the 200. I don't take much stock in these. So this is a weak cross. All right. So I'm going to put that right there. All right. So, um, other than that, on the twelve hour, uh, you, you know, you're finding your support is the seven MA right there in the twelve hour. Looking at the candles here, the candles don't help me out. Nothing here at all helps me out. Looking at the candles on the twelve hours, let's go rip it back to the day. Uh, now the daily, the daily did did give me this uh, hanging man. Can uh, this this. So the daily did give us a, uh, that would be a spinning top candle, uh, which is a call for a reversal or a coming reversal. Okay, so we did get that. So we did get this daily candle right here, and I'll highlight this for everybody. There it is. Let's switch this over to yellow. All right, and no crosses. This doesn't help. This doesn't help. Nothing. Uh, support on the daily is not all the way down to 7,600. So we're going to save this. So, all right. Um, and then I'm going to take this back to the weekly. I really want to go back and look at this weekly setup we have here. Hmm. You know, all I got to say in the weekly guys is I like for these these easy peasy trade setups and and all I have to do is if you were a patient trader, if you were a a less experienced trader, I would wait for this uh 30 and 50 cross to happen. Now, it can be both bull or bear. Uh, depending on the price action, if you just wait for it, just wait for this cross to happen right here. This is going to give you a very nice trade setup, right? This is going to happen and this should occur. Go figure. This should occur. Ready? August 6th, right? This should occur and or around August 6th. Go figure. It is funny how this timeline just works out for everything. Uh, on those particular dates, uh, support here on is way down at seven thousand, so there's no support for us on that. Uh, we are coming up the monthly close. We'll be coming up here in a short time. Let's go over here and take a peek at our six hour. Do you do you, you run the six hour Kumo? Uh, do you use six and twelve hour? You use six and four hour. Sorry, let's go over to four hour for Burb. Yeah. All right, Burb, go ahead, buddy. Burp, if you just drop your charts in, uh, yeah. if you drop a chart, I'll, I'll bring it up. Sure. Uh, let me, let me. Up. <coughs> uh, just drop a chart for me. Here, here it is. Um... I'd like to ever tell everybody too, if you guys are out there, you guys are not following Burb, please, please, please go follow the Burb man. 
Uh, he's over on Twitter. Give him a follow. He's got a great group. Uh, like I said, I've been in his group for a long time. He doesn't just do BTC. He also does alts. So he does a bunch of very specific alt calls. Uh, he follows like three or four or five alts kind of and BTC at the same time. Uh, his calls are amazing too. He actually just had some really good calls on his alt calls. Yeah, thanks, mate. I mean, it's amazing actually. You know, I've time. It's amazing how you how you de develop all this stuff and amazing to see you growing. I mean, your your community. It's it's great. I mean, it's a great great thing. You know, that crypto gives us all. <laughs> um, all right, I've got your chart. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Yeah, right. here we're having this. And uh, yeah, on six hours, uh, six hours, it gives, um, it's still uh, ranging, you know, um, above above the cloud, above the Kumo, um, with, uh, again, a strong, strong, um, strong kind of support zone here, ranging from uh, probably eight, uh, 80, 80, 800 down to, 78 or 79 here and um you know it's still um it's still <laughs> see if my it's still of course in this in this short term local downtrend here uh um it may be kind of in the making of, of this this bullish flag but you know for for me it, i'm still again at this at this very time frame i'm still Looking at this, at this, at the same zones that we've discussed already, and that we match, and um, yeah, if you uh, if you ask me, I mean, a few a few people already asked me about this, uh, whether it's uh, uh, you know it's a good good place to open longs or to open shorts or to enter, you know, clearly with with some bigger stakes, uh, you know, the, the, some crypto positions, I would probably wait it out a few days to see how it goes. And either way it goes, actually, it's, it's good for us because if it drops, it's it, you know it's an occasion for us to to see how we, how the how the matter develops and how it goes. But at the same time, and actually on the other hand, if it you know if it decides to to break the the local downtrend and to uh, to break out successfully, I mean it's information for us that we are seeing a short short term uh, bounce on Bitcoin, short term, uh, and the, that's because of this reason actually we. We can expect uh, an alt relief and um, maybe in short term alt party. I mean, depending on how how Bitcoin volatility reaches there. And um, yeah, so if you ask me overall, if this is a place you know to open like very significant positions, I would say no. It's it's much more to to wait at this moment to see how the matter develops. And based on based on actually the the next next days, I mean within the week, it should clearly occur whether we uh, shall see the continuation of the rally upside upward or, or we are more into the you know the penetration of the Kumo Kumo cloud uh, or you know the more into the retracement. So overall, overall, I'm still checking this 7800 support to to be the main one. Yep. So you can see right here that you've got the uh, one of his Kuma lines is right here exactly on the 7800 or pretty darn close. I'm actually going to bring this up. And there you go right there. So that's your support if you're using the Kuma Cloud. Now, if you take a look, look at this channel I just made. So I just created this uh, this big flag channel right here. And if you take a look at this mm -hmm. channel, you'll see that it, it's literally on the cusp of wanting to break out right so we came down and we tested it but this this channel has got you know this has been a very strong support channel here now if i would have brought this over to previous I mean, you can see we're just barely barely hanging on right here to this particular channel with the support zone right below it now if it would fall out of this channel Right, I would be looking for it exactly to come down and test this uh, this tech and this uh, this cloud line right here, and you can see where your second support is. Now, watch this. This is pretty funny because this it's 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 funny how this right lines up with my other chart, and I don't use cloud. Right, I don't use the cloud. Hold on a second. Let me get this out of the way. Um, 
There we go. So, oops, there we are, sorry. All right, so if you bring this over here, right, I'm gonna expand this up. You see how I have my, my support zones over here drawn out, right? And you can see the support zones are literally almost the same. So here you have this first one drawn. Here you have the second down here, the second support. You can see that these supports are also verified once again by these lines over on the Ichi Cloud. So good, good double support showing here. So you do have some confirmation. If this were to fall out, you do have some confirmation. Now, if this does stay back in the channel, this does also give you a zone of which you can play. So now you're, you're playing this upward zone of, you know, here's your upward zone play right here. So this would be your positive zone. So let's try to squeeze that in there. So this is kind of your positive play zone right here because you're going to also expand this out like that. Oh, there you go. So this would give you a good idea of some kind of a top line there where on the downside, if you did break out of this on the downside, you now know you have two areas that you would be looking for for possible support below. So here would be your short positions. If you were to look for this to break out of this flag right here, you'd be looking to possibly trade that as a short with a secondary target of that, okay? And if you're, a guild, if you're looking for your long play, there's your long position right there. Now, I have to warn you once again, you know, when you get up here into this, this confluence zone, I'm gonna go, let's go take a look. I wanna go see if I can find, so you see that, there you go. So your resistance level, both your supports down below, this would be a short if it broke out of these, and you, this would be your long potential. Now, your risk to reward here is measured by both of these positions. You can see this, you know. Now, I would wait for a confirmation to break out of this uh, before getting into a short. I think that's what we just talked about, and uh, that's what Burb was suggesting, and or make for a confirmation to stay back into the channel. This is a very tough trading point uh, area. So, but let's just label this out for everybody. So, wait for confirmation. Oh, come on. My one finger typing skills are limited. So, I wait for confirmation to break in. So, wait for confirmation to break out of the channel or short or hold the channel for a long scalp. And I think all these positions should be played as scalps right here. All right, and then we're gonna draw a nice little arrow. Point out the channel just in case people don't get it. And there we go. Burb, you agree with that, buddy? Yeah, mate. Actually, you know, uh, uh, check, check. Make sure to check, check. Oh, 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 oh. The chart I sent you. Got it. Actually, um, it's maybe showing a potential double bottom in the forming. I mean, I would not be surprised if, if this uh, plays out successfully, because it actually covers all we have discussed already. I Perfect. mean, by this time. Yep. So, um, and i you know, on the top of that, Bitcoin really likes double, double formations, like double tops or double bottoms. And um, yeah, I this is this is like the very characteristic, you know, for, for, for Bitcoin to 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 be able to follow this very often. And uh, this would be like another another confirmation to, uh, you know, with the with the range between 7800 and 8500 or 80, you know, for this would still give uh, the, the double double uh, bottom ranging up to 80, uh, this strong resistance placed between 8800 and 80. So you can see where he's showing it on his chart right here. So he's showing the single first bottom, then we have the second bottom right here, and then once the second bottom occurred, you'd be waiting. Basically, you'd be waiting for a break of this uh, this line right here in order to get back in. You can see this this line is acting as support. So you did have a wick and a wick 
right there. So you do see that this line has some support. I mean, there's a lot of support in this little general area right here. So bottom, bottom, and then look for a play up to the long side of the 9K area up here. All right, perfect. Yep, yep. Yeah, we, we basically have the same thing. We have the same thing. Yeah, I'm a little yeah. lower than you, so I'll go up to the top of my... I'll go all the way up to the top of my line right there. There we go. There we go. So I would, so let's label this out. So if this did run, I would put this as the top of the run. So if this did go moon, moon for, uh, let's just call this um, uh, the 9K run. Uh, I, oh, I, I would say the possibility of this is for me, I would say the possibility of this for me is probably, I'm going to give it this 30%. Okay, I would like to see, I, I need to see, personally, I need to see this area tested. So I need to see this area tested for me with volume, just like he shows on his area, right? And, and broken. So just like if you go back to Burb's chart, so let's take a look at Burb's chart right here. See this line right here? This is his confirmation line. So he's calling this perfect. He's saying, hey, it's got to get up here. It's got to break this resistance line. Once it breaks this resistance line, you're a go. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, you're a go to get up back up into this range. And I like that. I like waiting for it. I show this on my chart with, I did this with the white line right here with this white box. So you come over here and I have something very similar. I want to see it break out of this. I want to see it break out of this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, you look at this. You found perfect support on the 30. You hit my bottom uh, support line almost perfectly. And it, let's, let's see how this plays out. Now look at the, look at the shape here. Still very inverse head and shoulder-ish, but like Burb is looking for. So Burb is also looking for the possibility of and I do like it, and let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna, so he's liking to come down, and I like that too, come down, test a second bottom, right this range. Now look at this, look at the, look at the target we have here with this 50, so we're gonna say, the, this is your support, support uh, at the, uh, the 50 MA on the six hour, Right, and I bet I bet we can go find some support down. Let's go take a look at the 12 hour. Uh, nope, 12 hour support's really low. Let's go four hour. Four hours really high. Uh, daily, no help for till we go deep. So I only have the six hour chart for my support over there on the uh, the this you know so. You have your you have a bunch of confirmations of this support line over here. You have this this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one more box because I just don't have enough box and crap on any of my charts. They're not so there you go. Okay, so there's would give us our double bottom. That would then give us our shot back up. All right, and Gonna save that and if Burb posts all right. Yep, I like the double bottom theory. <clears throat> but I would wait once again wait for a confirmation of the break. Okay. I don't want people going into a short position now saying, oh my god, Bourbon Vamp told me. So you're gonna wait for a confirmation of the break. Of the eighty fifty. All right. So, do we all agree to that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Eighty five hundred right. is the key. You know, the neckline here, and uh, I mean the horizontal line that we're checking to to make sure that after a successful conf successful breakout, I mean we we are like dealing with with the double bottom formation. Got and uh, actually, yeah, this is like mm, really many, many indicators, many, many parts of, of our charts, of our charts. I mean, we 
we share this very, very similar resistances, very similar supports. And uh, I believe it's not like, it's not like something random. I mean, it, it's much more into this. And uh, actually it's kind of, I mean, seeing, seeing you actually seeing the same thing. We, we have probably seeing much more confirmation both in the same places. So uh, it's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna put wait for a confirmation of breakout here and here. There we go. I'm gonna see right down there. So you got a couple confirmation zones you gotta wait for. So like I said, this is a really tough trading zone. Right, you got to be really careful in here playing. I've had this up on my chart for a while. You got to wait for this to break either way. So now at least we have a downward target to wait for the break of. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so you got to wait for the confirmation of the break there or the break there. Otherwise, it's just going to play in this channel and it's just going to wreck you. Okay, that's the only thing you got to watch out for. It's just is just watch yourself getting wrecked right now by these by the bots by the algos by whatever's playing out in here you just got to be very careful not to just keep getting wicked out all right yeah I sure the, the more the more actually the more you know taking the, the fact into consideration that we kind of being in the in the very decisions whether it's a uh, double bottom whether you know it's a uh, bullish mode activated by by you know by some uh, recent price action and so even you know even even if we uh, as 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 vam says and we we all say um this is a kind of decision zone decision zones are usually not no trade zones for me at least i mean it's um either it's more scalping into that or just withdraw and wait with a position to enter with more confirmation because um playing playing this current you know trade trading current market like it's fully bullish it's totally like overrated to me and playing it like totally like some standard bullish bullish market uh will probably wreck you so um i believe we should be all kind of more reserved more um not not fomoing into into positions because being on the very edge i mean if it gets successful breakout so then it's it's like heaven to us and we actually you know we'll be seeing significant gains on, on any on maybe not any not not any but on many trades that we that we open so uh not for more ink in this decision zone will probably make it all good only yeah no good 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 all right so uh let's take a couple questions from some people out there and we'll just take we're going to take two or three questions uh we've been going for an hour now and then yeah. uh, we'll uh, we'll just, we'll finish this up. So anybody got any questions for the burb? Let's hear. Let's put some questions out for the burb. All right. Let me go what back is burb? Here. Probably. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark says burb's been calling BTC pass since February or March perfectly. Yes, Mark, he has. He's been absolutely just crushing it. Uh, yeah, we both have had very, almost the same exact targets. It's been funny. Like I'll, 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 I'll sometimes go around and be like, God damn it. I knew it. Yeah. It's amazing, mate. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, Darcy has a question about the volume. Okay. Is it an yeah. accumulation time for the whales institutions and exchanges? Uh, follow the price action by the dips. Uh, yeah. What What are your thoughts on the volume right now, too? Uh, you know, volume compared. I mean, by the like the OBV on balance volume indicator. Actually, it's um compared, you know, to the very uh, compared to the like previous previous rallies. Uh, for example, in in April uh these are still like in the de declining mode i mean for uh for uh, for its kind of fundamentals i mean the, definitely like the uh the the etf like announcement of of the vote of uh like accept, accept accepting the fact you know that the, the security and exchange commissions are actually uh going to to accept the bitcoin stuff um i believe this will probably 
um, we encounter with with some great volume spikes, uh, by volume spikes, of course. And but but still, I mean, still, in my opinion, we are we are we are being in the uh, bearish mode, and um, with the higher it goes, actually, the the lower part of the bearishness uh, it leaves. So, but still, I mean, as I was as I'm already saying, it's all about the bullishness to bearishness uh, ratio. We shall always hear and see what both sides see, what both sides um, you know look at. And to know to know how it, how it all develops, I would never I would never suggest you know to be like fully bullish or fully bearish. Uh, it doesn't matter really what what type of market, what any type of market, whether it, whether it are these are stocks, I don't know, bonds or or crypto or shares, whatever. It will always like be, give the balance between the bullishness and bearishness, not like 50-50, but for example like 80-20, which is for example this part row based. Um, yeah, and for this for this very volume, um, it's not still fully convincing to me. And uh, despite it, despite for example having having some some nice spikes up uh, on the OBV and or the volume bars, we are not like fully. Uh, I am not fully convinced about the volume that it appears like continues to appear uh, and increase only. So. Definitely, this um, this negative negative fact of of, uh, of ETF um, would be um, the negative vote for, for that would be probably the you know the oh so uh, it's not fully convincing for me still. Yeah. So so yeah, we're we're both on the same page. Uh, a negative vote. This is listen. I feel that just like Burp, that nothing is fundamentally changed except for the ETFs. You know, now do I feel we needed a bounce after we fell a gazillion points to fifty seven hundred? Of course I do. I mean, we we're all looking for a bounce. There had to have been a bounce here. Now, did I? You know, did I? Was I expecting a bounce to get all the way back up here? No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting to come back up and test the hundred and twenty. I was expecting to come up, test the one twenty eight on the daily and then get rejected. So we definitely clearly went over. But I would like you to look at this uh, setup. So if you take a really good look at the setup right here on the daily and you kind of zoom out on it, you can see how it has developed into almost a perfect flag pattern here and or a symmetrical triangle. So I want you guys to get up there, dig into this right here and, and find that symmetrical triangle right here. Uh, remember, symmetrical triangles are 51% bullish, 49% bearish, right? And you should also be looking at the candle setups as you go into this. So you kind of came up, looks like, you know, if you were to be, you know, A, B, C, D, E in this thing, you know, if you were to be A, B, C, D, E in this thing, that's that's just something you would look at that this clearly looks like it's it, it created some sort of a flag and or a pennant. Burb, your final thoughts on that, buddy? Oh. Yeah, can you hear me well? Yeah, 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 yep, 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 you're good. Kind, yeah. of, kind of made you made you offline for yeah. a second. Oh, sorry about um, that. Yeah, so just no, 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 no. Talking about. Can you can repeat the question though? I, I, what I was doing is I was looking at the daily chart right here, and I was looking. Yeah. At, it created a symmetrical triangle and or a pennant. Yeah. And I was mm -hmm. saying that this this triangle. If you look at this triangle right here, it's it's if it's a symmetrical triangle, it's fifty one percent bullish, forty nine percent bearish. Okay, mm -hmm. you can see the top line resistance and you can see the mm -hmm. bottom line support. And yeah. if, if this were to go either way, now I would just draw a line. I would make a line on this thing and I would show, you know, if it breaks up or down. Now you got to be careful because it can break down, bounce, and then moon on. Yeah. Down. So, but yeah. at least it would give you a good trade setup to do some scalping also. Yeah. I totally agree on that. You know, as as for the far for the fact of being uh, this uh, consolidation part here and uh, the short term retracement, I would uh, I would not definitely like close fully the the long positions. You know, definitely the the biggest mistake and the, the you know the most common mistake all, all over the traders is like uh, not taking profits, uh, not taking profits generally, and definitely if playing for example mar margin trades. And uh, not taking profits, you know, with having like great, great open, for example, like long position open at 
as I don't know, 6,800, for example, and not taking any profits, actually is killing the whole fund. And this is an easy way to, to get wrecked in this, you know, in this play out. And, um, but still, this is uh, all about the, the ratio. It is all about the balance. I mean, I'm seeing in all of this harmony and uh, keeping the harmony, keeping the balance, you know, between, between um, what you do there is, is pretty crucial. And um, I believe we, and for, for this reason, I believe we, we should not like, close fully the, the, the long, long position. And uh, you can, of course, hedge it uh, on other instruments. But um, if we if we are talking like Bitcoin or XBT uh, contracts, I would say um, I would say we should we should definitely take take some profits at this moment. We shall like uh, make sure that these profits are not like overwhelming. I mean, <laughs> they should be overwhelming, of course. But uh, the percentage of the position, you know, the initial position, should not be like uh, withdrawn with you know with too, too, too much uh, significance. Because it should be taken partial profit, not full profit, unless you really want it. But uh, it's all about mitigating the risk, maximizing potential uh, gains. So uh, for this reason, keeping the balance between the uh, taken profits and you know the potentially uh, potential gains left is is like pretty crucial. But and for this reason, all combined, I would say uh, it's a you know take profit zone and uh, doing some some scalp fun. So. Uh, yeah, this is how it looks, I believe. Yeah. All right. All right. And if no one has any other questions, let's see here. Let's uh, take one more question. And uh, Taco says, um, uh, Dynamics would like to ask you, what are your... Uh, what are your uh, specific what what time frame do you like to use for your scalping? Mm, you know that scalping scalping part is very and for this reason we should stick to like uh, thirty minutes up to two hours. Four hours is definitely like too too much, I believe, uh, because it gives like com com compared to to, um, to to the very current like price action. It gives m much lower, I mean, much less influence compared with, for example, these lower time frames, because it it reflects much more accurately what's happening at this market uh, at very at certain moments. And uh, yeah, I would I would use like ranging from uh, for thirty minutes up to two hours, which but two hours is like a bit too much as well for me. And uh, scalping yeah, should be like played 30 minutes or even 15 minutes, but it's still again to well, on the other hand, it's it's like a bit a bit too too you know too low time frame for me. I would stick to 30 minutes up to one hour for that. All right, all right, everybody. So listen, that is it for us, man. I appreciate it, Burb. Thank you so much, man, for taking your time out. It is like three o'clock in the morning for the Burb man. Yeah. We're gonna let him get some rest. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, once I, I again, never rest. <laughs> yeah, van like the vampires. So do me a yeah. favor, go out there, please give us a like here on the video today. Uh, go out there, find Burb. You can find him. He is out there. He is on Twitter. Uh, give the man a, a, a like, give him a follow. You guys will be super, super impressed with what you see. Uh, he's just a, an absolutely amazing trader. He, you know, and, and Please, you know, guys, we're out there. We're working hard every single day to give you the best trade setups possible. Uh, the least you can do is give us a little love on Twitter. Give us a shout out. And uh, Burb, say goodbye to everybody. Yeah, I'm saying goodbye to you. To you. And actually, yeah, I must, uh, as I was saying, I'm, mate, I mean, it's it's great tons of work. That you've done and it, it fully like should should be reflected you know by at least the number of followers so don't hesitate you all to you know to to leave a follow for 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 the vamp and make sure you know to to let him to let him and let us both i mean at least develop all the crypto stuff i mean we're uh we may be seeing in in vegas on the, in the crypto con uh, conference in in october and uh, I am sure once we once we met, uh, there would be some some amazing stuff going on together. So, uh, yeah.
Make sure, make sure to follow follow this guy. That's right. So uh, don't forget, we are planning a uh, crypto. Uh, we are planning a crypto campus in October. That is before the uh, October show for uh, in Las Vegas. So it will be a very busy October, November for me. Uh, I will be in the uh, second and third week. We're looking at the crypto campus. We are trying to get Burb out there. So he would. We'd love to have him out there. We're going to talk a little bit more. And have him out yeah. there with us at the crypto campus in Portugal. Uh, there'll yeah. be six days, seven nights, uh, four star hotel, and basically just twenty four seven non stop crypto training action. It's going to be uh, like a crypto boot camp uh, for trading, getting everybody trying to trying to make a whole bunch of little burbs and untils and vamps, <laughs> uh, doing the best that we can to get you guys up to our level and our par. Uh, in the confidence of your trades and your trade setups so that you too can make money like we do and be as confident as you're trading as we are. And for me, the vamp and us at Until One Million and the burb and all the burb followers out there, we would like to say thank you so much and we are out.